All right, so I've determined that I think this is the best location for a pair of hooks on my two foot bucket. I've curled it and configured the arm in several different directions. And my best conclusion is that I need them like this for pulling. So if I need to either A, pull myself out if I'm stuck or pull logs horizontal, I can do that, but I can still curl it and lift things straight up. So that's the best I could come up with for the location of a pair of hooks. And I want two instead of one just for a number of reasons, but if I'm lifting a log with a chain or weighing something, you could run a chain and angle it out much easier with two hooks instead of one. So I ground the uh, hooks just a little bit flat so they sit where I want them to be. Now I gotta grind this off and prep it and see how good my welding is. All right, then. so I got that ground down to my welding spots I'm going to weld around the sides and the front and the back get as much weld on there as possible for the most strength each of these hooks will hold 4,000 pounds so you want them very strong. As you strong. can see I built my shop thinking ahead both to weld inside of the bay and right out here so here's my ninja welding extension cord all right, I had them build the necessary thickness to the welder plug in there so that not only I can weld in this bay, which reminds me I need another weld on that tractor door right there, but I can also weld out in front there. Good thinking, Capper. Rusty. But it appears that I'm cutting into that bucket like I should. Hate to do it, but sledgehammer test. the worst part right here well something's bending I'm gonna guess it's the bucket metal that's bending. Nonetheless, feels like she's holding. I'm using 7014. It's for a little bit dirtier metal. totally an expert I've just read a lot and remember from shop classes and so forth I turned it down to 105 this time because I'm melting that this forged hook a little bit too fast so I'm gonna try and slow it down a little See how that one looked.
not too bad. I'm gonna try and get some here in the front. And the same thing on that other side, and maybe a shot here in the back. And then I think we'll be golden. I, this one, I can't tell how, how deep I got into the metal on the bucket though, but it does look recessed. All right, there you have it. Not pretty by any means, but should be functional. I uh, put the hammer test to them. A little afraid to do it as hard as I could. I know you should. Maybe I'll try it once. But otherwise, I'm going to hook some chains on them and really give them a real world test. And the second bonus weld with my makeshift extended workshop was this coyote door. This broke off in the wind, and the way they have this shock set up, I don't know if you could see it here, but they've got this bolt welded on there okay so it's dang near impossible that you basically have to uh, buy a whole new shock and it's not going to be easy to replace so I just threw a tack weld on it and I'm not too concerned about it that should work just fine There you have it. I welded it once and I didn't have a good enough weld and she popped. So this time I held her on a little bit longer. So this time it'll work. Very nice. Other part of this equation was that the bolt was broken. So half was stuck in the nut up here, which uh, solidified my decision on and not replacing that whole shock.